it all boils down to your priorities in your current circumstances, yes. your passion, yes. and your reason or the why, why behind the things that you've been doing. So it doesn't mean that uh, pag naka sa freelancing, nare kay freedom, impact more groups, no? So somehow I can let my light shine to a broader base of uh, group members. When you earn and you also learn, you're actually building a legacy. Clear kay sa ako ang value na ako maprovide. If I can help this client of mine, bisa reach one person na. If I can help him reach one person, get a college scholarship. You should always have the beast in your life. Na ako dapat desire, discipline, and dedication. And you will succeed. Mas may asa pa ka, may freelancing ba ka or? Hello, yeah. mga kayao yao. Hello. Bang <laughs> bang adlaw. Good day. Bang adlaw, mga kayao yao. Welcome to another episode of Yao Yao TV. My name is John Lomel Umawit, aka that Filipino dude, your host with the most. I am joined by my Yao Yao TV crew members. First is Raymond Vasquez, the Doro Explorero. Hello, explorers. Hi. <laughs> Next up is the running salesman, Boyn Ramos. Hello guys, andam na ba mo? Tapad niya si <laughs> Tapad niya si IJ Mutya, aka the process consultant. Hi guys, bangsa na lang sabi magyayo sa inyo hang adlaw for today. And of course, <laughs> last but not the least, the Kirby CPA agent Peter Johnson. Hello, hello. May may adlaw no, abinaw nalimtan ako no. <laughs> <laughs> Di ka malimtan, Pete. Di ka malimtan. <laughs> All right, so today ang atong topic is uh, why do freelancing. So in, uh, in a previous video, you know, we we tackled a uh, when is the best time to start freelancing. Karon maghatag me og mga reasons why you should start freelancing. So uh, first up is Mr. Raymond Vasquez, Doro Explorer. Take it away. Why do freelancing? We do freelancing because of these reasons. Kani para nang ninakuha to grow more than you've been used to or more than you can think of. Um, nganong na kayong ko more than you've been used to or more than you can think of because if you're still employed and you have a an eight to five job, nine to six job, um, you're usually limited to the options that you have in your career path within the organization, de ba? Ang uban pa ganey maghulat kano sa mamatay ang next in rank. I mean, it that's the brutally the brutal honesty in some of the circumstances ato mga mga kaubano nga ato mayawyawan karon no? Um, na ay mga tao karon nga like really naa sila yung option to quit but mayon sila nga ah, okay na lang sayang mapod mag magulat na lang kung promote but to be promoted because ang plantilla is ingon anira tama na din ha ang ilang growth bisan pag maayo na kay sila they can even perform more than the one who is who is um, on top of their rank de ba so that's um, really one of the reasons that you do freelancing and another one is to be your own boss um, you get rid of the boss if fire ni mo yung boss na dili ka Maybe dili ka ganahan or or it's something na dili ka click ang inyong dynamics. Dili mo ga dili mo ga swap, di ba? Even if ka tong nag-apply ka niyon ka, I think I'm the best fit for this job, pero pag-abot nimo sa job, one week after na stress na ka. You have all the challenges in the world and you have no support at all. So dinan ni kami, ah, I want to quit. I want to do this. Um, I can do this job but not with this kind of person. And maybe you can do it when you're doing freelancing. And another thing is when you are Learning and earning more, maybe beyond you can imagine. Ano man, when you learn and you earn more, you are actually building a legacy. And I also believe nga nga earning on this part. I though, although I emphasize that you earn, kay usahay maugid na pinaka attractive para ni mo, no? Usahay kung pira pira regid ang istoryahan. But at the end of the day, it's also building legacy. When you grow, when you earn. When you earn and you also learn, you are actually building a legacy. You learn, imong 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 gisabot ang mga butang, imong gikuan, tuhugon ni mo tanan nga pwede ni mo tuhugon aron mahimo ni mo ang butang nga gitahas sa imong uh, when you are doing freelancing. Dili na ka limited to whatever is in your job description, dili na ka limited to unsa lang ang gihatag sa imong trabaho. And you are no longer afraid of basin I can step on another another position because because you're doing it on your own you're your own boss you are defining what you want to work what you want to tackle and what you want to deal with what problems you want to solve I think mao na siya ang pinaka key points nga akong gusto it share nganong mag freelancing ta again it's to grow more than you've been used to or you can think of be your own boss and learn and earn Maybe more than you can imagine. 
beyond limit. That's it. Salamat. <laughs> Siguro uh, ang dagaman reasons no pero ang sa sa mo alang sa ako ang side na makarelate me is uh, one is ano kanang for you to somehow take control of your time. Uh, ang makarelate yun me is sa kaning kang netting a situation today nga kanang kuan she gets to spend a quality time sa kang baby kang Jacob and at the same time uh, she gets to work four hours in a day lang supposedly eight hours a day man siya lugar di ba kung nata sa kanang isa ka company but sa freelance uh, she she's able to work in four hours and at the same time uh, augment the needs of the family so uh, at least makakuha ang lugar maka spend siya og time quality time sa kang ka Jacob sa baby sa ako no part uh, siguro mo balik lang ko sa ako ang uh, point uh, the previous video nga kuan uh, at least uh, will be able to ano I'll be able to um, impact more groups no so somehow I can let my light shine to a broader base of uh, group members and somehow uh, help them no run their run their business and in or influence the way they run their business uh, that way at least maka maka kwanta maka impart ta sa ato ang uh, mga styles and kanang pagtuo ba at least maka help ta og more people ba maka help to more people so kana lang siguro uh, you get to have or to take control of your time and uh, you get to influence or impact a brothers uh, a broader uh, scope of groups or people. That's it. Uh, from my perspective, uh, I'm share na sir kung story na ako, no, from my personal experience. So, first point ni Boyan no is so freedom. No, you have the freedom uh, to work on your own. Like for example, sa ako, uh, to give you know mga viewers background, uh, I was an employee for almost ten years, almost nine years with one company and. At first, lingaw uh, kaisha, dahil kung gusto learn and you know the pay was good for the job, uh, but habang ga kadugay ko sa kong uh, employment, uh, I had this strange feeling na kaning more challenging kaya sa kong thought na wala ko choice but I have to be there. Murag, at any point in time while I'm employed for a company, wala ko choice. I have to be there because I chose that company, diba? I chose employment with that company. So, uh, pwede ba ka maka-absent, pwede ka maka-VL, maka-SL, pero at the end of the day, you have your uh, kumbaga, obligation. You're obligated to show up for that company. And that thought, uh, challenging kaysa ako, Murag, uh, I wanted the freedom to you know, manage my own time. And that's why I chose uh, freelancing because now, uh, although I'm in still work in progress sa ideal freelancing career na ako, now, I control my time. Like, I don't have to be anywhere else. I don't obligated to be anywhere else. Uh, I, I, I manage my time. I'm with my family. I can be with my friends. I can go out. Of course, I don't have COVID, but uh, you know, that's the point. Na, that's the goal that I wanted to reach, which, uh, which I was able to accomplish. And the second point was, atong, similar to Boyne, is to serve a bigger uh, you know, group or to, to serve to serve a group of people na with value. Okay, uh, when you're with a company, it's very hard to, uh, if you know, you're uh, an employee, it's very hard to see what kind of impact you have as a company. It's a international company or multinational company. Uh, it's very hard to see how you move their bottom line or how you affect uh, their results directly. Uh, with my work now, like for example, I have a client na, he uh, he has an online tutoring school, and he wants to reach high school students so that they can get uh, better grades, so they can go to college or they can get scholarships. You know, so ang ang ako is clear kaysa ako ang value na ako provide. If I can help this client of mine, bisag reach one person lang. If I can help him reach one person, get a college scholarship, and get a better life, kami kaysa ako pamina umrad. Ah, nakaimpact ko directly to somebody not just a company not just a bottom line bottom line no ng income may yeah, impact po life sa tao so uh, basically that's it to summarize uh, I started freelancing because I want to have freedom with my time and of course I want to impact 
uh, people directly with value. I think no more than sure. I mean, you know, alus tanan uh, positive side and uh, being a freelancing, no. But ang ang lang is kwan magud ka ng while while there are a lot of employees who are tired of their bosses, yearning to be their own boss. Engon pa ni Raymond, no? Kanang kung di ka maampo nga mamatay na imo ha boss din ha. Dikit mo promote di ha ra gid ka tama, no? And some some good people uh, yearn to work in their own schedule. Uh, as mentioned pa ni that Filipino dude, no? Kanang uh, ang kanang murag kanang imong time o ini re ini kuan pod ni Darren Saisman ang time importante kayo na pod actually freelancers pod who also envy the security and stability of a full-time regular employee but for most people more bit it usually seems that the grass is greener on the other side manang we always usually have complaints kung where we are currently situated and we tend to visualize ourselves doing great on the other side bro nature gyud sa tao no so para sa ko ah, murag at ako na lang ni panindig ano I, well, let me just follow through with that idea and akong i-lay down na lang or i-summarize yung mga advantages nga ilang giingon in other words no unsa ang mga advantages sa freelancing so number one for me is variable income you will always be compensated based on your efforts you generally speaking the more you work hard in this freelancing career the more money you will earn it's actually a direct positive correlation gyud ko na kung naka sa freelancing uh, industry If you are uh, unlike employees no, in a corporate setting, maski yung saon yung paningkamot din ha, sa isa ka tuig lugar, kung pareha mag corporate level, pareha ragin mo sildo. Maski pang isa, pulpul kayo, yung isa kay grabing paningkamot, pareha ragin kayo mo sildo. Magdaog na lang din mo sa bonus dahil at the end of the year after the evaluation, kung kinsa yung mas takong bonus, kay mas grabe yung paningkamot. So, ana lang. So, variable income ang naa sa freelancing. So, it's low, it's very high, pwede depende na sa imong effort. Number two is flexibility. Sa giingon pa ni running salesman, we want to own our time. You are actually your own boss at the same time. You can do whatever you want. 'Di ba? In a corporate setting, namat ay ginatawag na kana bitawong mga awards bilaw kana mga periodic awards like kanang employees of the month, most punctual, no absence in a month, 'di ba? Employees of the year. Actually sa freelancing ng industry na agya pud na na kung wala lang kay assistant, ikaw lang jud noon mag-print sa imong own nga certificates, ang nakanindot lang imong ngalan ang naadit sa tanan. No? So, mura gid. Na pwede na nimo buhato, actually free gid gayo no, ba? Ka, ina na ka free ang freelancing, di ba? Rip the greatest. Magilimo pug ako ang ano bay. Pwede, pwede kayo. In default, you're always punctual and you're always present sa freelancing industry. No, sa ingon pa ni John, nag-challenging nag-cha- saya sa una nga time ka nang mag-file of VL, kay consider pa nimo ang ang work nimo, sa mga bilin, di ba? But actually, pwede ka di mo work sa freelancing, Late mag-file, mag mo ka VL. Pero ikaw, nag po yung mga approve. Di ba? Yeah, na- <laughs> nice. <laughs> May That's true. Nice, uh, freelancing. Actually, there, sa freelancing po, there's no such thing as SL or sinungaling leave na ginatawag nila. In short, you can do... <laughs> And you can be very flexible in terms of your time, in terms of the things that you want to do. So flexibility, daku kaysa o kanang advantage na nakasa freelancing. And last, last but not the least, no, uh, I think wala pa ni na mention sa oban. Uh, I'm not sure, but for me, the third thing is uh, the unlimited learnings. So especially in our days, no, uh, information is readily available sa internet. If freelancer ka, money is life good, but internet is lifer, no. You want luck mo buhat kung wa ka internet. This is gayo. So you can actually learn whatever you want to learn. Actually, you are first to learn pagani ang mga nitigriti sa mga things or sa imong passion or sa imong freelancing career in order for you to serve your clients better. And like employees bound to learn lang gyud sila at the very minimum or siguro at the maximum pod sa mga things na related ra pod sa ilang industry or sa ilang company nga they work with. So I think that's one of the limitations pod sa isa ka sa isa ka employee but of course you can learn man pod uh, anything outside sa imong employee but what i'm telling is ang sa ang need lang nimo mo learn kana lang yun limited sa imong pagkaempleyado nga na lang so as you may notice no kung mapansin lang nimo ang, ang marag ilang difference it seems na doing freelancing uh, can give you the letter f's in life no freedom and flexibility and while in an employment you can actually get the ss Uh, security and stability no muna muna lang na siya kung napansin however that's not actually mutually exclusive uh, meaning you can have all those f 
NSS combined no um, pwede na imo buhaton tanan regardless kung naka sir freelancing or employment doesn't matter what matters most is that whatever you are doing right now wherever you are what or whatever you are you planning to do you should always have the this in your life na akay dapat desire discipline and dedication and then you will succeed mas ni asa pa ka mo freelancing ba ka or uh, empleyado so kana lang of course my part is to to be the last one to talk Um, I'm gonna process all the things na nasturya na daan. So, but I'll I'll go back to the question: Why do freelance or uh, freelancing? My answer is because there is an option. Anong dili man nga naman tay choice, di ba? But the twist ani is uh, dili ni para sa tanan ng option. Meaning the option is not available for all. So the next question: Para kinsa man nga option? Let's process. So para sa ako personal, I have two indications nga para sa imo ni nga option or the option is available to you. Number one, you have a skill that has a demand or potential demand. What do I mean by this? Uh, para sa imong freelancing, if nakay ginabuhat ka ron, na you are good at it, and there, that is a kanang ginabuhat ni mo can solve, potential, can solve or potentially solve a problem or address, address a need or a want. So, para sa imo ni siya. So, that's a short-term nga indication. The second point, which is long-term, is Uh, gi-emphasize na gini sa upat ka speaker ganina it's about freedom number two na kong indication is if you want to create freedom so ako lang emphasize ang word nga create because freedom is not automatic you have to create create it so it doesn't mean nga pag naka sa freelancing na rin kay freedom some freelancers ba na nakuan na, pod na na confine pod sila sa ilang freelancing job because wala nila na manage wala nila na create ng freedom so that's why emphasizing na uh, uh, creation of freedom so freedom uh ang pasabot na ko sa freedom and in the context of this discussion is uh, to be is being able to to get out or break free from the things na galimit na mabuhat nimo ang things na gusto nimo buhaton or that matters to you or that makes you happy so that's freedom kanang maka break free ka ani nga mga things so ang ako lang point ani is uh, I'm not I'm not saying uh, delete nimo ni mo create nga freedom sa imo ang sa, sa sa employment nga setting because you can also create pero I'm inclined to say that with freelancing mas dakog chance nga maka-create kag freedom. Siguro akong nahunanaan nga the chance nga maka-create kag freedom sa employment is if you are the owner or you are the son of the owner sa business. Ala ko nahunanaan. Pero in terms of chances nga maka-create kag freedom mas dako gyud diri sa freelancing. Freedom in terms of time gi discuss na ni Peter meaning if I want to spend time with my family I can. Di ba? Muna ko pinakibutang tisa ko that that matters most to me so That's freedom. Second is uh, money. Katong gingon ni Peter nga there is a correlation between income and doing. Meaning sa freelancing mang good, if you do more, create more. Pwede gali gapon nga if you do less, create more gapon ka sa freelancing, di ba? Pwede na siya. But sa employment setting, do more, do do more, do more, fix ra gapon ang income, di ba? So that's the that's the thing. So another thing is lasting a freedom is kanang create ideas og mag-decide ka. Diba? So, ako kayo ng freedom na ikaw yung mag-decide, ikaw mag-guan. Kaya, at every day, you're the, bo- you're the boss of your business, yung freelance. Then, you bear the re- risk and rewards sa yung business. So, that's it. So, why do freelancing? There's a choice. and But the choice is not always para sa imuha. Indication lang, short term, is you have, a, you have a skill that is in demand or potential demand. And number two is if you want to create freedom. I think that's the point. Na, na-stress yun ko sa direct <laughs> direct correlation <laughs> positive yeah. correlation mathematics guys usa na usa na correlation by correlation oy sa usan no yan ato pud na ato ni Agi ako lang dai gamit ba pero di sigurado gi gamit to pero gi ni mutya sa muka dinare gi nang correlation ha murag di ko ganan basaho na sa una bay grabe si Otto si Grabe si the process consultant imo manggi Ako lang gi process imo manggi latag sa ilaha nga pwede day na siya nga less imong effort pero daghan kag mo earn surprise naon ta to nila kung mo join na sila ng freelancing Aw <laughs> oh, ako lang sila gi process daw nga pwede na possibility pero i-create la pala nimo dili sa necessary oh, automatic di ba nag connotation <laughs> ko nga i-create gina nimo <clears throat> okay. leverage leverage ang tawag Nakita mo gud ako pit nga gamay ra imong gabuhaton daghan gyapon kag output di ba Sa imo na ang kakan kon pero mutambok kag ayo. 
Leverage game. <laughs> bitaw, bitaw. Nindot, nindot. Pero it's, kung lagi, bisan asa, no, nga, I think bisan asa nga industry, nga imuang if freelance, bitaw. You can always, you can always figure out a way to like, dili siya entirely nga do less, but when you innovate the process, such that yes. you are, you have become more efficient in what you are doing, that it requires you less time to do what needs to be done, Diba? It's not kaya mo bitaw na mayon sila nga you do not pay me because I only did this for 30 minutes. You pay me for 10 years of experience so that I can do this in 30 minutes. Yeah, so it's true. not it's not about how much time I require to do the job. It's my expertise that you are paying or it's my skill that you are paying and to acquire such a skill does not take me a minute. It takes me years or decades for me to hone myself and do this thing. Yeah, siya. Ako ra na tong generally speaking ganina ba the more effort, the more money. <laughs> inyo manggi, inyo manggi lata gud. Ni bala nila sekreto so, basi yeah. mag freelancing na natanan karon. <laughs> okay nga eh, noon. Pero nindot tong kuano nga it's not it's not an option for for everyone but um I also would like to emphasize nga Uh, maybe right now confused kid kaya mo ba nga pananaw ga paminaw ani i'm just i'm just here to tell you nga if you have been thinking about it over and over and over again maybe it's a sign for you to like try and dip your fingers into the water maybe you can still get out but but most of the time kana mga freelancers nga nakatilaw sa freedom and whatever the freelancers uh, as A benefit in a benefited in the in freelancing kasagaran maadik maadik and then mo padayon yun mo push yun <laughs> I'm I've done a lot of I mean I've known a lot of people nga nagsugod lang sa sulayan kulang de ba tapos karon dagko na kay sila o o legacy nga nabuhat sa ilang pagsulay de ba I think the very first step is to really try taste the waters And, and the reason why mubali ko sa kung point last time no katong when to start freelancing is now especially if you're still young when the now is then is when you're still young and now is you have you still have a chance to go back to where where things could still be managed kung pagsulod din mo sa freelancing nagkaguliyang gid kang mura gid ka na overwhelmed gid ka og ayo then then you can still go back but it's really now that you can test it and ako dai duga nga last ka nga point katong kung yung ganya nga legacy ba kanang <laughs> and legacy gud is really ang ako man kung point is yes we grow in terms of earnings but when we do the service we're creating a legacy such that the earning is already an incidental remuneration of our practice of our profession or vocation wala na na stuck focus correlation ba Ako na lang kayo si Ada to na sa point ni uh, process kung sa kotong uh, If you have uh, an indicator na uh, freelance is you have a skill uh, Now, that is a good indicator no? but there's actually, that's how I started but there's actually a better indicator and that is dama kayo gusto ng market na iserve Kaya kung Uh, if you focus on on your skill, uh, you ignore what the market needs, man. Uh, and if you if you focus on the market, you can position your skill better. So let me explain uh, in concrete terms. For example, sa akong, in my case, ako, I'm a video editor. That's the core of uh, what I do. So if I, I that's my skill, and I start with that, I go to my market. I say, oh, kasi kailangan video editing, dra. Come one, come all. I accept. Mm. The store is open. So, dagang kay video editors, there's a thousand, thousands of video editors out there. So, if dagang ka competition, you sell on price. So, wag price matching me. Kinsa pinaka parang low cost dera with the best output, no? So, that's how I position myself with the skill first. But if if you say na market first, na I understand the market, no? So I could say na uh, specifically ako market is mga course creators, no? Those who are creating online courses to video. I can say na, hey, hey, my name is John Noel Humawid. I help course creators increase their course sales by 20% without the hassle 
uh, of creating their videos on their own using my three-step video marketing strategy. Now, kung say ubang video editors <laughs> ka, ingon na lang. Kinsa ni compare nila with yeah. that offer. Yeah. And so, since wala sila compare an offer, I I can price on results. I can sell them on the results na kumakanta. So, mola na no. So, the, the skill is a good way, an indicator. But a better indicator would be a mark, the market. Tama kay gusto ng market na iserve. Because if you start with the market, what their problem is will dictate what you can serve them. Applicable na sa mga lai. Running salesman, figure out na niyo ang correlation. Wala, magyapon ba eh? Rosie, na kayo ma-add ba? Na kayo ma-insight? Nadumaga noon sa market. Ito nang i-correlation. Serious, serious. Agree, agree ko sa kwan, agree ko sa point ni John. I, I mean, dili man siguro better, dili better. I, I, para sa kwa, dili better indicator mo additional indicator siya kay kwan man. Ilangan man iman, di ba? You have the skill and you have the market. Additional lang siya nga indicator. Tayon sa atong correlation, ang akong pagsabot ana kana ba nang kwan? Kanang relation. Kanang ano niya? Relation. Mga partner, ano? Mula siya ba? Sumpahin lang, Core. Ano na si Core? Katong Cora, mang good. Katong silingan na mo sa una ba? Nadumduman lang na ako. Pero at the end of the day, kuhan good yapo na. Ah... Hindi mo gyapo ng opsyon gyapo na. Amo lang diri is kita gaanta lang mo. Sa yung mga matilawan or magawa ninyo kung mag-freelance, then yun sa po ang mga cautious na grateful para sa inyo ha, di ba? Okay. What if happy na magkaroon mo? Sulod mo sa inyong opisina, lingkod mo sa inyong kuha niya. Happy na mo. What really matters most to you na nasa inyong mga sa opisina, then yes. stick with it. Ay na, pag apil-apil sa kanisa ilang Raymond o ilang Peter. Okay, madugan-dugan ka mo, di ba? Kung happy na mo din, why not? Stay with that. Makuha nilang market. Oo, oh, makuha nilang market. market. Pero kung kadaling, kadaling ko din yun, mga tana, pag hapon, gusto ko tanaw sa kong anak, gusto ko magkig-cuddle sa anak. Labi na karang weather, tsada kayong weather. Mag-nobog-nobog kayo ba? Lami kay buwan ko sa baby. Tana, if napa mo yung mga yung nana ng mga frustrations lugar, then this will be your option. Pwede mo mo pariha sa ilaha, di ba? Wala kayo mga stress ang dagoy. Tanawa si Doro, fresh kayo always. Diba? So, Grabe na siya, kaka first time na. <laughs> Grabe na siya, fresh. Mubi tayo nag, ni sunod ko sa iya ha, kay... Gusto kay ko fresh, fresh kay... ko doon. <laughs> Pero, so, bita, yeah. Kuhan lang, no? For me, uh, siguro kuhan lang. It all depends on your... It all boils down to your priorities, in mong current circumstances, yes. your passion, yes. and your reason or the why, why behind the things that you've been doing or Siguro plan to do if you decide ka nga na no, change your career, no? And you, yes, you, ikaw ra gyud. Ikaw ikaw ra gyud nang tanaw ani, ikaw ra ang maka-figure out on what do you want to do in your life. Ikaw ikaw ra gyud. I mean, at the end of the day, that's actually one of the greatest gifts that God has given us, the gift of freedom. Sa so, giingon pa ni Otap dai na og sa katong uban na speakers giingon dili na. That is actually the ability to choose and to decide ang mga things nga Uh, around us, di ba? It's actually one of the greatest gifts ngayang gihatag. So, go figure it out. So, the good thing here is naalan tayo ginatawag na first step. Di ba? Naapod tayo tayo second step, na tayo third step. And again, we go back to the mindset na if along the process na ay something wrong, na ay ka natumba ka, you're, not, you're no longer winning and you're at the same time, you're not learning, then you may get out, di ba? So, mutang gingon ni Raymond ganyan ng as early as now, as young as you are, pwede na yung give ka mag-start para at least napakay chance to dagang chances to get up no? again. So take that first step no? and then don't worry about tomorrow no? for tomorrow will worry about itself. So that's actually Matthew chapter 6 verse 34. No? So what matters most is that on your deathbed, kanang question starting with the line bitaw nga phrase nga what ifs will no longer be entertained in your mind. What again? Ang bottom line. Tumbahan ko ba? Tumbahan ko ba? That's bad na ba? Tumbahan ko ba? Tumbahan ko ba? Pakipas ko sa... Maraming importante insurance, bye. Importante insurance. 
Tuloy na naman tayo, kamatay on dire. Yo mga kayaw-yaw, salamat sa pagtanaw. If tirahan mo sa among content, please do subscribe, comment and like. And of course, if gusto pa mo makita sa among videos, among previous video is mind setting, then kayo mo learn na. Please do watch that. O kung gusto mo makabago o makaila pa, kung pinsa gud me, tanawa ang among next nga video. Tanawa, pantay ka lang. Tanawa ba? Subscribe. Tanawa. Tanawa. Tanawa.